Yo, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. My name is Randy. I am a videographer based out of Orange County, California. Wanted to start these behind the scene vlogs to document my progress and also give a fly in the wall experience to anyone who's interested in becoming a videographer or photographer. Hopefully this channel can provide someone with something that might help. Uh, feel free to comment down below with any questions and I'll try to answer as accurately and honestly as I can. Just some background, I've been freelancing for about a year now. It's been a fun ride to say the least, uh, a lot of throwing myself out to the sharks scenario. Uh, definitely got some dubs, uh, but definitely got some really bad L's too. So for this vlog in particular, I was uh, booked to collect some training and marketing materials for a brand. Uh, this is the second time I'm working with them, so luckily I had somewhat of a plan or an idea. Typically this is a run gun shoot. Usually don't get the shot list until I arrive on location, which is never fun. So right now I am shooting with the A7 III with the 18 to 105 millimeter lens. Um, and that's more so I don't have to worry about like focal length or aperture the whole shoot. Let's me concentrate on the other roles that need to be filled, audio being the next most important. Because the location is in the mall, it's going to be noisy everywhere we go. Uh, there's music playing in the background, people talking, so if you're editing these type of videos, you're probably banging your head against the wall right now. Luckily for me, I have experience uh, recording or filming in retail locations, so I, uh, I think I got it down right now. Just uh, grabbing some B-roll right now. Uh, yeah, when I got home, I noticed that my BTS cam, uh, the monopod that was sitting on the counter is in the background. Uh, luckily, the way I shot it, uh, I could crop in a little bit. Um, so we got that uh, masked out. Dude, I love and hate doing these hero shots for food stuff. Um, I don't know, it's always so awkward and weird for me. I will say though, after I got home and I was watching the clips, on this one specifically, um, because of the lens I'm using stops at f4, um, there wasn't a lot of depth. So um, for this one, I should have used the Sigma 16 millimeter uh, 1.4 I have. Uh, that would have been a way better shot, but yeah, lesson learned. So during this portion of the shoot, the marketing VP came onto set and wanted to capture some footage for a brand culture video. I wasn't aware or prepared, but uh, had done some recruiting type videos in the past, so I had a basic idea of what types of shots I needed to capture. She also wanted to record some voiceovers, so thankfully I brought my Zoom recorder and uh, got to capture some nice audio despite of the uh, conditions. I'll be showing a snippet of that video at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Here I'm just capturing more b-roll for the newly tasked culture video. Easy stuff, uh, more action shots of the employees interacting with each other, uh, doing simple tasks, and if we can get those release forms signed, interacting with customers too, so luckily we were able to get a couple, um, so it worked out. At this point, we headed back into the kitchen, um, just getting some b-roll of the prepping of the fruits, uh, washing them, cutting them, so on and so forth. Thankfully, I'm pretty good at directing people into getting the shot that I need. Um, we'll probably get into that in a future video, but that's definitely something that always needs improvement. Another thing I learned over the year is People love to see what the camera captured. Uh, it really brings a lot of motivation to the talents, uh, especially when you are co constantly asking them to redo action shots. Um, they get to see the final results and, you know, they're usually pretty soaked about it too. 
at this point, uh, it was pretty much a wrap, but you can never get enough footage, right? Uh, even for this shoot, I definitely could have benefited from shooting for like, I don't know, another 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, I ended up running out of clips for the culture video and had to resource some of the clips from the last shoot, so improvise. Here is the footage for the marketing VP recording her voiceover. Uh, as you can tell, we were outside. It was super windy, uh, not to mention the trucks going by, people yelling behind us. You know, glad she was a good sport about it. All right, I think I'm done with this video. Uh, thank you for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thankful you stuck around to hear me say thank you. Later. Welcome to Sit Fresh. Whether you are a new franchisee, crew member, or manager, we are delighted that you are joining our team of enthusiastic, friendly, and dedicated individuals. No matter what role you play at Sit Fresh, you know that you will be part of a committed team that takes pride in delighting our guests and uplifting each team member one interaction at a time.